Hi friends, welcome to my kitchen. I am Michelle with Garden Jargon and I am making my second video for the day. So if you see the outfit in another video, you'll know why. I am quickly making this snack that I got for Christmas from one of my neighbors. Um, it was a baggie full of these corn puffs flavored with just butter. Chester the Cheetah makes them, and also Clancy's from Aldi makes them. And they are coated with a caramely crunchy flavor. And they are so good. They are right up there with bacon with me. Bacon, these things. I don't know what these things are called, but they're adult candy. Let's just put it like that. These are so good. I can eat this entire bag after I make this. It's quite scary. So I just wanted to share the recipe with you because I absolutely love this. And when I find these puffs at the store, which I can barely find them ever, um, I buy them and make batches. And then I share it with everybody. It's like spreading the love. So what the ingredients are is these puffs um, in the butter flavor. It also takes one cup of packed brown sugar, one half cup, which is a full stick of unsalted butter, a fourth cup of corn syrup, a half teaspoon of vanilla, a pinch of salt, and a fourth teaspoon of baking soda. I've got my oven heated um, at 250. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna melt these ingredients minus the baking soda in a pot. Once it gets to, when it's all melted, then you're going to turn the heat, in, heat up on medium high and you're going to boil that for four minutes, stirring constantly because you want to get it to a rolling boil and it's tedious and you are stirring and your forearm is going to hurt, but it's candy. So you got to do it. And once that boils for four minutes, you turn the heat off, you get away from the oven, the heat, and you pour it over the puffs. I spread the puffs, one bag, in two bowls because I don't know how anybody can dump that entire pot over a whole bowl of this stuff and stir it up and coat them all. I don't know how it's done. So I've always done it in two bowls. And then you spread it out evenly over, um, over your cookie sheets. And then once you get it spread out over your cookie sheets, then you're gonna pop them in the oven at 250 and you're gonna stir them every 10 minutes. So you're gonna set your timer at every two minutes. Um, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, pull them out, stir it up, just kind of keep the melty caramely stirring up amongst all the puffs. You do that for about 45 minutes then you take them out and you let them cool and don't eat them all at the same time. This is such an amazing snack and it doesn't last very long here at my house. It's so good. So again, really quick, the ingredients is the puffs, one bag of five ounces. Um, the Chester Cheetah bags are like three ounces. So I have to use a bag and a half of the Chester Cheetah ones. These are from Aldi. This is a whole five pound or five ounce bag. One pack of brown sugar or one cup of packed brown sugar, a stick of butter, which is a half cup of butter. I use unsalted one fourth cup of corn syrup, a half teaspoon of vanilla, a pinch of salt, and then once it all boils in the pot and you take it off the heat, you're gonna mix in one fourth teaspoon of baking soda. Sorry, my oven stopped. And then you're gonna bake it at 250 for 45 minutes and you're gonna to toss it um, on the two trays every 10 minutes. So let's get this caramely deliciousness that I have in this bowl. It's in here, it's all melted. It's not boiling at all. I turned off the heat as soon as it melted because I wanna make the video. Um, so this is the goodness, the magic sauce. And we just go ahead and turn that up on medium heat, medium high heat. I'm also gonna lightly coat with a cooking spray my cookie sheets. If 
you've ever worked with candy before on the stove, you have to be prepared because it is a process that goes very fast and you have to be prepared and ready to, to do it. Um, it's not something that you can just move slowly and just, oh, I'll get to it when I can. The caramel mixture will get hard very fast. It goes over here. This bowl's a little smaller. Okay, it is now boiling. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my timer for four minutes. And I'm gonna stir this for four minutes. looks frothy and thick and this is what it's supposed to look like but you do not want to stop stirring ever. I have my heat on almost medium low heat but it's still boiling you just want to keep it at a at a boil. been on for four minutes. It's been on for four minutes. This is what it looks like. And now I'm going to go ahead and add that baking soda, a fourth teaspoon. And what's going to happen is it's going to get all puffy. It's going to like poof up.
fluffy. Now it looks almost like a marshmallow fluff. Again, you want to work really fast. I sprayed my two spatulas with cooking spray also. You do not want to touch this caramel. Do not touch it. I'm telling you right now, it'll scald your finger skin right off. Because I thought the first time, oh, look at the yummy caramel. Didn't realize it was as hot as lava. So please do not touch the caramel. And there we go. I just tossed that around. All the little puffs got caramel on them. See this one? I neglected for a couple seconds here. And it almost got hard on me. It can't sit. You have to work so fast. It'll start to harden a little bit in the bowl and kind of clump together and you think that it's going to be sticky and hard and that's it. But once you put this on the cookie sheets and in the oven, it continues to kind of melt a little bit. And then it gets kind of gooey again, and when you toss it, you just make sure you toss it around where the pieces that don't have the caramel, make sure they get it. All right, I think that we got it. I have tendonitis in my elbow, and this project sucks. <laughs> but I'll go ahead and throw this on the cookie sheet. And now I'm just going to kind of flatten it out with my spatula. Kind of chop it up to get it into a single layer. Oh, my elbow. There is a version of... Um, soft like there's you can dump this out like this and let it air temp cool and then you're done or you can bake it you can put it in the oven for the 40 minutes at 250 and stir it every 10 minutes and then it will get hard so since i have this little bit left in this bowl i'm going to go ahead and leave it until it cools to room temperature. And I'm gonna see what this turns out like. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in the oven and set my timer for 45 minutes. This is the bits 
of the pop, the pieces that I'm going to let come to room temp and see what it means um, to have the soft version because there's two ways to make the recipe. Again, like I said, if you bake it for 45 minutes, tossing every 10 minutes and bring it out and let it cool, it's considered hard. If you stir the caramel in there and then let it um, cool to room temperature just on the counter, then that's considered the soft version. I don't know the difference in the two. I don't know if it makes the puffs puffier, crunchier. I don't know, but we're going to experiment today. So give me a minute, and when this stuff comes out of the oven, I'll show you the end result. Okay, I pulled it out of the oven after 10 minutes, and I am basically just tossing it around. Um, looking at it from the top, you can see where the caramel is kind of melting down around the pieces of corn, the corn puffs, and I'm just tossing it to make sure that everything gets coated. And then I'm gonna go ahead and spread it all back out again into a single layer and bake it again with 250 in the oven uh, for about 10 more minutes and do that for up to 45 minutes. Maybe baking it has something to do with the baking soda and that it's gonna like do some kind of chemical stuff in the oven with the baking soda. Who knows? I don't know, I'm not a chemist. If you know why I'm supposed to put this in the oven and bake it for 45 minutes and toss it every 10 minutes and then let it cool and it will be different than the stuff that I kept out and cooled off to room temperature that's already tasty and yummy and halfway in my belly, let me know in the comments below. Thanks. Okay, so in conclusion of baking them for 45 minutes, um, tossing them around every 10 minutes, and letting them cool at room temperature, I really don't know the difference. Other than the ones that are cooled at um, room temperature are a bit shinier, like they glisten. The ones that are out of the oven are a little not glisteny. And they're a little, um, what is it? What do you call that? Not shiny. That's what it is. So to taste them texture wise, Okay, texture-wise, the ones that are baked seem a bit more airy, like the, the um, corn puff got a little bit more baked, and it seems a little bit more light and fluffy. The ones that are room temperature that got cooled, they're still crunchy, but you can tell they're straight out of the bag. So they do taste different, not taste-wise, but texture-wise, they are a little bit different. But I would eat them either way. I would eat these wrapped in poop. Like that's how good these things are. So I want you to try them. Please um, like my channel. I hope you like this video. This is a huge guilty pleasure. And I'm so glad I have company coming tomorrow so that they can eat all of it. Um, instead of me eating it all because I will. They're so good. I don't even know what they're called, but I hope you enjoyed my channel. I'll put the recipe in the description below. And I appreciate you watching my video today. Have a great day. Take care. God bless. Take care. God bless.